to begin our cool down, come into seated forward fold, crawling those palms as close to your feet or maybe they're touching the feet or even going beyond the feet. But really just stretch those legs individually and together. Just feeling the right and left side here and feel the length created all the way from the heels, all the way tracing up the back of your legs and all the way up your spine. Inhale, crawl the arms back, come into one leg, forward fold, bring the right leg behind you and stretch into the left. And just keep breathing as you go, try not to fight anything here. Just find ease in the stretch and in the pose. Draw the palms back and switching sides, draw the left leg behind and stretching and crawling forward into the right leg here and just continue to breathe, I'm going as far as what's comfortable for you here today. Inhaling and exhaling and draw yourself all the way back up, bring both legs back together. This time open the right leg all the way out to the side, the left leg comes in for half butterfly Twist your rib cage over towards the right leg. Inhale, arms reach up and exhale. Place the palms on the mat. Try and avoid touching that leg as we stretch the hips in the back, drawing the chest up. And try and feel length created here as well. And keep breathing as you go. And drawing yourself back up, place the left palm behind you, point your toes and draw yourself up for a variation of gate pose here. Opening up the hips and the low back and continue to breathe, drawing yourself back down, switching sides, open up the left side, twist your body to that left leg, inhale, arms up, exhale, place them on the mat, open that chest up, tall spine. And keep breathing as you go. Avoid trying to come into a deep stretch here. And then as you inhale, crawl all the way back. Right palm behind you. Variation of that gate pose. Come all the way up into the air. Back bend here. Then gently place yourself all the way back down the mat. And drawing both legs back out. Nice seated spinal twist, draw the left leg over, hug that knee into your chest, and if you'd like, you may draw the right leg behind you, twisting over to the left side, right elbow comes on the outside of your knee, keep a nice tall spine, focusing on your spine, not on your legs, and if you need a deeper twist, feel free to interlock those fingertips behind your back, opening up the upper back and the shoulders here. Continue to breathe, finding ease in the stretch and twist back, center, hug that knee, and let both legs go here, switching sides, right leg comes over, left leg behind, hug that knee into the chest, and say goodbye to Haiti Katie here, and twist over to the right side, breathing as you go. And always feel free to interlock those fingertips behind your back, elevating that spine even further. And keep focusing on that breath. Do not let your breath stop when you're stagnant in a pose like this. Keep inhaling and exhaling and twist back to center. Hug that knee into your chest here. Letting both legs go again. And then coming into nice cow face, draw the left leg over the right. And I'll twist around so you can see what I'm about to do here. And draw the right arm up into the air, left arm behind you and try and reach the fingertips together. If they don't touch, that's okay. You can use a cloth or just feel them moving towards one another here. And just continue to breathe. And then slowly let the arms go and swap with sides here. Bring the right leg over, left leg under, drawing the right arm behind, left arm up and over. And just breathe into the arms, breathe into the legs. And if you'd like, you can always lean forward, really stretching out the legs and low back here. Inhale, coming back up, slowly release those arms. And twisting like you're coming into child's pose. Only this time we're gonna go ahead and draw the right arm up, 
place it under the left and rest that shoulder down. If the hips come up, that's okay. Just make sure that you're really resting that right shoulder into the mat here. And just continue to breathe, finding relaxation and ease in this pose. And finding a calm center here. And coming back to center, the left arm comes up and twist over to the right side. Stretching out this shoulder as well. And just really finding comfort in that upper back. And just relax here. If you fall asleep, that's okay. You can come back to the rest of the video later. And just continue to breathe and feel nice and soft in this pose. And place both palms back up and slowly start to move around onto your seat. Using our core, we're going to come all the way down onto our spines here. Draw those knees into your chest, wiggling side to side, relaxing that low spine, giving yourselves a nice little vacation for a moment. Press the legs away from you, Supta Baddha Konasana. Open up those legs, feet together. As the low back arches, draw the knees closer together to flatten that spine out. That's all we're focusing on here, is just softening and relaxing the low back. And gently draw those knees back together, placing the palms beside you, draw the hips up for bridge. Stretching that core and stretching the spine, using your legs. Interlock the fingertips behind your back, move the shoulder blades up off the mat, and lift the hips even higher. Slowly release the shoulders, release the palms, and gently lower all the way back down. Reach the right leg all the way to the bottom of the bat. The left leg comes up 90 degree angle, both feet are flexed, and grab onto the left knee, open your left arm out to your side, and twist that left leg over to the right side as far as what's comfortable, keeping both of your shoulders on the mat and keeping both feet flexed the entire time. And just breathe throughout the nice little twist that's happening in your spine, nice supine twist here. Gently twist back around center, open the right arm up, flex the left foot, draw the right knee up, grab the right knee and twist over to the left side body. Breathing here, both shoulders are still staying down. And then gently with ease, we're slowly going to move back to that center here. Bring both knees back into your chest, massaging that spine as you rock side to side. Open up to happy baby, grab the insides of your feet and open those legs as wide as you can. Keep those knees bent, relax the low back if you'd like. You may interlock your fingers around your big toes and sway side to side, massaging that spine further and feeling a little bit whimsical in our day. That's always a good thing. And just gently relax and feel ease here. Both so feet together, hug those knees into your chest one last time, and let the legs fall down to the bottom of the mat. If you have a washcloth or an eye mask, this is the perfect time to go ahead and grab that now. And just gently place that covering over your eyes, relax your arms down, and breathe into corpse pose, holding this pose as long as you'd like. Just feel nice and relaxed. And that's your cool down video. Thank you so much for watching.